Hey guys, what is up? So today I'm going to be doing a 100 things to do when you're bored. I'm making sure that most of these ideas are very doable and safe. So most of them are at home and if they're not, they're either in a car, kind of like driving a little bit or walking around your neighborhood. So these are perfect for the situation that we are in and I hope that you guys hear at least one idea that you haven't heard before and just get some idea of what to do because I totally understand that it is so easy to get bored when you can't go to the mall or anything like that. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and put in my post notifications it just notifies you every time I upload a video and also make sure to give this video a like it means so much to me and also make sure to follow my Instagram and Snapchat it's a super fun time on there and let's get into it okay so the first thing I have is to take a car ride you can just go through your neighborhood next thing is to watch a sunset through a car ride or through your window or something in your backyard take photos during a car ride uh, there's a lot of things that you can do during a car ride make it fun write a song try to write a song in 15 minutes maybe learn how to play an instrument slash do something musical learn how to play like piano guitar whatever Paint a painting for your room, kind of make some DIY room decor, learn how to draw something like a face or an object, a puppy or something, and uh, how to make like cute little doodles, make your notes cute or something like that. Learn how to digitally draw and find a really good digital drawing app. I don't really know one at the moment, so if you guys find one, definitely comment down below. Learn how to use Photoshop or a certain editing software for photos. And use that to up your Insta game. Just learn how to edit super cool things. Okay, so while editing this, I thought that it would be helpful if I just kind of sprinkled some of my recommendations because some of these things you might not know certain apps or certain softwares that you should use. So these are some of my favorite apps for photo editing. I have Superimpost, Afterlight, Lightroom, Hooji, which is like taking photos, and then Pixar. Plan your insta feed for a month this is such like a useful one and like if you really want to like up your posting game this is such a good thing and then for planning your feed i have preview and feed preview start a youtube channel this is the perfect time to start a youtube channel if you've ever wanted to do it do it right now right now learn how to edit videos if you're doing a youtube channel you're gonna need to learn how to edit videos have a tv show slash movie marathon clean your room obviously just that's such a perfect thing to do clean your digital space uh i definitely feel like when we have super cluttered like laptop screens and phone screens it kind of just clutters our mind so cleaning that is really good drive through the city kind of like take a car ride i just feel like changing up your scenery is such a like healthy thing if you're willing to do that i know that some people aren't and that's totally okay the next thing is to write a script or learn how to write a script write a web series a movie a tv show anything your heart desires so for script writing i also wanted to mention that celtics or celtics i don't know how to pronounce it is a really good software that it's free that you can use to write scripts in script format and it's really really nice it just makes you feel like you're doing something professional so i definitely recommend that redecorate your room you could even make like diy room decor if you have materials in your house based on your friends or zoom your friends if they don't have iphone do at home workouts youtube got you covered with that there's so many videos out there learn how to skateboard or learn how to skateboard better this is something that i am like trying to push myself to do and i'm just like oh i'm so lazy but if you are bored, do that. Why not? Go for a bike ride, walk. One of my favorite things to do in the spring or the summer is to go on a bike ride and listen to my favorite music. It's just such a nice experience. And if you're up for going outside, that's such a nice way to get some fresh air. Learn a new dance style, like ballet or hip hop or something, or just a dance, like a specific kind of dance, I don't know. Next one is to play board games. Board games are so fun and so underrated, and this is just such a great time to play them. Also, really good board games include Monopoly, Shoots and Ladders, Candyland, like, I don't know, the classics. Have a self-care day slash spa day, do a bubble bath, like put some bath bombs in there, do some skincare, hair care, everything, the whole shebang. Practice your makeup skills, take your makeup and just like experiment with it all and just if you like really have always wanted to do the perfect brow and you can never do it, practice that. This is a perfect time to do that. Try out a new hairstyle, paint your nails, write a short story, write a book if you've been wanting to do that for a while. Have an indoor photo shoot. Play video games, Wii, Minecraft, Sims. And if you have Nintendo Switch, some of my favorite games are Kirby Star Allies and Super Smash Bros. Those are two epic games and they're so good. Have a closet clean out, get rid of clothes that you don't want, clothes you want to keep, donate, sell, whatever. Read a book. Ooh, I also wanted to mention two books that I've read this year. Well, one and a half books that I've read this year. So the first book is The War of Art. I heard about that book from Haley Pham and I really really liked it so that's a good book to check out. And then the second book is How to Win Friends and Influence by Dale Carnegie and that one's also a really good book. Listen to a podcast. So these are two of my favorite podcasts. So the first one is Call Me Candid by Lily Ann and Haley Pham and then the second one is Moonrise by Washington Post and this kind of just talks about like the moon landing and all that stuff and it's super cool if you like space so I totally recommend. 
Plan super cute outfits for an entire week that you will wear. Watch Netflix, Disney Plus, Hulu, and if you don't have those, invest in it for a month, see some new shows. Next thing is to watch YouTube or look for new YouTubers to watch. That's always such a refreshing thing to do and it's great to support small YouTubers. Go phone free for a day. Thrift flip your clothes. So kind of just like some clothes that are too big, you know, just cut them up or just upcycle them. Next thing is to wash your makeup brushes. I always neglect this so much and this is such a great time to do that. Declutter your makeup collection. Have a family game tournament. Board game video games whatever make a vision board I've literally been trying to do this since September and I still haven't done it and I need to do it it's just like so good because you have goals and you're focused and you're like I want to do this learn how to cook or bake something build a fort a fort around your bed a fort around your couch just something really fun this next one I thought of is so cute writing letters to your friends and just kind of showing how much you appreciate them and just a handwritten letter is so personal and just such an underrated talent. I don't know. Just do that and your friends will love you. Next one is watch TV shows not in your native language. Spanish TV shows are so so good and just whatever language that you're learning in school, watch TV shows on that because it'll help your listening skills a lot and you can also put like subtitles so that you understand them obviously, but do not sleep on foreign shows. Like they are so good. Listen to an audiobook. Next thing is go online shopping slash online window shopping and also like I just want to note, try to support small businesses, small YouTube businesses or Instagram just because you know it's a hard time for them right now. Make a photo collage. Watch all your watch later videos. For some reason I have so many watch later videos and I always forget to watch them later. So do that. Start bullet journaling. Make an Instagram question box and ask your friends to give you movie, TV show, song recommendations and watch and listen to them all. Next thing is to change your aesthetic for a day. Try a new outfit. Try like just a new outfit style, a new makeup look anything. Take pics during golden hour. You can do this inside through a window or you can do this in your backyard or whatever. Take a nap and listen to new music. I love doing this when it's like in the morning and I need some more sleep. And so what I'll do is I'll go on YouTube and I'll see like a recommended playlist and I'll just listen to that while I'm kind of like half sleeping and it's such a good time. Learn new fashion slash styling techniques. Watch Best Dress. This one I thought was also so cute. Making friendship bracelets and sending them to your friends. Make popcorn and have a family movie night. Watch a Try Not To Laugh challenge video. Help your parents around the house, cleaning extra rooms or doing extra laundry, or anything like that. Look through old family albums and pictures and watch home movies. Learn how to do origami. Take an online course in something you've always wanted to learn using Skillshare or something like that. Unfortunately, I'm not sponsored by them. Okay, this one I didn't really know how to phrase, but make a bucket list for like, I was gonna say summer, but I don't know if that's even gonna be possible. So maybe the next summer or just make a bucket list for the end of the year, just make a bucket list. Get takeout, drive-through of like your favorite restaurant that's still open through drive-through, such a good time. Learn how to juggle. Have a card dig tournament with your family. I love card games, they're so much fun. You can play like Uno or anything like that. Cook breakfast for your parents or your siblings. Watch a movie with your friends through Netflix Party. It's this kind of web, I don't know if it's an app or like a plugin, but you can kind of watch movies through Netflix and have like a little chat with your friends. And I thought that was super cute. Play with your younger sibling or hang out with your older sibling. Download new games on your phone and try them out. See which ones you like. And then some of my favorite games are Mario Kart, Prize Claw, which is like a claw machine game, 2048, and Mario Run. Clean out your camera roll or SD cards if you're a photographer. Learn how to start an online business. Learn how to sew. The next one is to research dream careers or research colleges that you're interested in because this is just such a good time to kind of learn about all those things that you like and what kind of college you want. Rewatch your favorite childhood Disney slash Nick shows slash whatever cartoons. Virtually go with apartment hunting. Go on Ikea or Wayfair and look at apartment decor or dorm decor, room decor, whatever, and just kind of see what kind of apartment you want and style decorating wise. Okay, so I completely forgot to say this while filming and I don't even know how, but the 80th one is to design a new layout for your room or a dorm or you might be going into next year or an apartment and just kind of like drawing it out and putting like where you want the bed to be, where you want this to be. I just think that's so fun. Learn how to use GarageBand and digitally make music. Film skits with your siblings slash make a web series. Learn how to make a website. Try to improve your typing skills. This is actually really good if you are, you know, gonna go into workforce or anything. Typing skills are super, super valuable. Make a birthday wish list, even if your birthday was yesterday or in like 11 months, because whenever people or your family members ask you for gifts, you never know what to tell them, or at least I never know what to tell them. So making a birthday wish list will kind of have you make your mind about things that you want. Play iMessage games with your friends, 8-Ball, Manakala, I love those games. Watch TED Talks slash inspirational lectures. Play Sudoku. I don't know why, but I love Sudoku. I don't know why, I love it. Do a word search or a crossword puzzle. Reorganize your closet, maybe you wanna have it color coded, maybe you wanna have it season coded. I don't know. Have a glow up day. Do your makeup, do a really cute outfit, and take pictures. Make internet friends through like fandoms or TV shows or movies that you really like, or if you have similar YouTube channels, similar Instagram accounts. 
Make a list of things you want to buy in the future, some goal items you want to purchase. Try to learn good financing skills and how to budget and keep track of your money. Practice making good thumbnails. Have a Polaroid photo shoot. Make a Polaroid wall in your room or like a Polaroid garland. Make a shoot video. Declutter your room. And the hundredth one is to have a karaoke night with your family or your friends through Zoom. I think that would be so hilarious. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video and I hope that now you are not bored and that you have at least 10 ideas of what to do when you're bored next time because I gave you a hundred. So I'm hoping that there's some that you really liked in this list. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was so much fun to film and I hope that you guys have some ideas of what to do the next time you feel bored. And I also hope that in this video you heard one idea that you haven't heard in any other video. And yeah, if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and put in my post notifications. It just notifies you every time I upload a video and also make sure to give this video a like let's try to get it to 50 likes and also make sure to follow my social media it's a super fun time on there and i'll see you guys in my next video